Hi, and welcome back. Today, we're gonna use the modular to make some techno rumble. Those dark gritty sounds that can be used to fill up the space in between kicks and sound just like these. start with a few simple setups you can use during a live set or performance, just by using a few simple modules. And then we'll dive into a few more complex setups suitable for studio recordings. If you want to support this video series, or you want to get access to the PDF sheets of the illustrations I use in this and many of my other videos, have a look at my Patreon. You can also support my channel by using my affiliate links the next time you buy any kind of new gear. But now, let's dive right in. Let's start with a few simple setups. These are great if you just want an extra layer of sound or groove to your track. For most of this video, I will use a sequencer to trigger a single kick and only just a single sample so you can focus on the rumble. Send the kick directly to an outboard mixer so you always have access to the clean kick in your mix. The kick I use in this video sounds like this. However, here I use a stackable cable, so the kick is not only sent to the outboard mixer, but I can also use a copy of that signal within the modular. Of course, you can also use a multiple for this. The main idea is that you use this copy of the kick to create a separate chain. In this chain, you can send the kick through a series of effects and processors to create a cloud of sound related to the kick. For this, you can experiment with pretty much any kind of effects you like. However, it's important to alter the signal drastically, so there is no phase cancellation with the dry kick. Therefore, more dramatic effects that have 100% wet output are preferable. Send the result separately to the outboard mixer, so you can mix it in with the clean kick to taste. Of course, if you're into clean productions, it's worth it to multitrack the rumble and clean sounds. That way, you can apply EQ later, as well as glue everything together with compression, for example. But for this video, I just recorded the direct output of the mixer. Everything you hear is made with the modular, without any post-production or effects. It works well to start your chain with a full wet, time-based effect, like a delay. This way, you can create rumble based on a groove that is timed around the kick. When you mix these signals together again to make your track, they won't fight each other too much. Although I don't do any post-processing, heavy use of the EQ on the mixer helps to scope the sound. You can use it to change the sound from being part of the percussion by cutting the lows and emphasizing the mids, to darker rumble by cutting the highs and mids. You can experiment by adding or swapping effects in the rumble chain. A clean delay gives a pretty percussive result. Run the full wet delay through a full wet reverb if you like more smeared sounds. An effect module in my setup that works well is the Mutable Instrument Clouds. You can use this single module to create a delay, reverb and some feedback all in a single module. In order to keep the kick clean and powerful in a mix and create a pumping groove, you need to duck the sound of the rumble every time the kick hits. To do so, add a VCA at the end of the rumble chain. 
You can still experiment by swapping or chaining different effects, as long as the end result passes through the VCA to control the volume. Open the VCA to let the sound through when nothing happens. Then there are two common ways to create side chaining. The first is to make another multiplication of the audio of the kick. Run that through an envelope follower, invert the envelope and use it to close the VCA and lower the sound of the rumble whenever the kick is audible. To get more control over the attack and release time of the ducking, you can also make a copy of the trigger to the kick and use that to trigger an attack decay envelope. Again, invert it and send it to the VCA to duck the rumble. You can use the attack and decay time of the envelope to create a more pumping sound. Chaining multiple effects gives you more ways to sculpt the sound. And because there's a VCA at the end of the chain to keep the kick clean, you can experiment with higher feedback settings to sculpt denser sounds. If the rumble is an important part of your track or performance, you can add more options by adding more modules to the effects chain. To get more control over the sound, you can add a separate filter to the chain, right before the VCA. For lower rumbles, a low pass filter will do the job, but a band pass filter is even more flexible. The more control over resonance or feedback, level or drive the filter offers, the more ways you have to scope the sound. So experiment with different filters. An easy mistake is to leave out the VCA and use an inverted envelope to close a low pass filter to create a side chaining effect. This will work in some way and may have an audible nice effect, but when a low pass filter is used, the volume difference mostly comes from filtering the mid frequencies, while you especially want to lower the volume of the low frequencies of the rumble when the kick hits. On a small setup, you might not hear this, but you will on a bigger system. With a bandpass filter though, you can experiment by sending a copy of the envelope to the filter to cut out the low end, and create interesting movement in the sound. I'd still recommend leaving the VCA in the chain though. Another effective way to shape the rumble is by using saturation or distortion. As I said before, some filters might offer enough drive, but a good distortion can really add a lot of grit to the sound. You can add mixers to this setup to create routing flexibility and multiple chains of rumble. This is particularly interesting if you like to create dynamic multi-track recordings. Instead of using one rumble chain, you can send a copy of your kick into multiple chains. For example, use one chain with a delay and bandpass filter for a more percussive rhythmic sound. Then use a heavy reverb, maybe with some pitch shifting and a bandpass filter for some air in your rumble. You can use a setup like this and multi-track the layers individually. Or you can send the different chains into a modular mixer and send a mix into a VCA again for sidechaining. Now you can use the mixer to sculpt the rumble over the course of a track or performance. And use both filters to sculpt a specific layer of the sound.
create an even wider range of sound, you can mix multiple sounds into your rumble chain. For example, add a percussive sound to this setup. And just like with the kick, send the clean version into your outboard mixer. Then add another modular mixer to the setup. Send it your kick and percussion, or of course any sounds you like. Then you can use that mix as the source of your rumble chains. In this setup, you can also use samples or noise to add grid to the rumble mix. I really like using slow but still audio rate sample and hold signals. They can add lovely gritty dark textures. But you can also use white noise for a more open sound. You can experiment with mixing in the noise before the VCA at the end of the rumble chain, keeping it textured and fairly clean. Or mix it in at the front of the rumble chain. In this case, of course, the noise is also processed by all the effects. And then, of course, you have a rather extensive patch that holds a lot of elements that can be modulated. I'm not going over all the millions of ideas here, but let me show you two simple examples. To add some movement, you can use a simple LFO to any audible parameter. For example, the drive on clouds used as a reverb. And it's also worth it to experiment with time-based modulation. For example, take a copy of the clock, use it to trigger an envelope, and use that to modulate the bandpass filter. Adding different kinds of modulation to your choice of effect modules will create endless possibilities. If you'd like to learn more about creating modulation with things like clock dividers or voltage controlled LFOs, have a look at any of these videos. Also, smash that like, subscribe and bell button if you want to see more modular content from me. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.